Good kitten internet. Um, this is actually like the seventh or eighth time I've tried recording this now. Um, so, as I mentioned last time, I had just leveled up, and rather than walk and rather than make you watch me actually click on things and then reload many many times because I can't be, I can't decide what I want and I keep messing up what I'm spending. I already spent it, so I'm just gonna quickly go over some things. Um, I can now expert axe. I can master merchant. I could do that before actually. Uh, repair item perception and learning plus expert and eventually master plate. So Eileen's looking really good right now. Um, Ed, I can now master body magic. Uh, technically, I can expert and master spirit magic right now, and or I can expert spirit magic right now. I don't need to put more points in for mastery. Uh, same with dark magic. Learning, I'm unfortunately 11 or 10 skill points short. No, B. 12 skill points short. And I probably should have done that slightly different, but I really wanted to make sure I had Master Body Magic. Uh, in addition, we've got I can now Master Fire Magic, which would be very nice. Mastery of Learning. And Expert Leather, Dagger, and Bow. Finally, I can Expert Dagger here and Leather here. I can now expert fire and air magic. I wanted to make sure I had some type of backup for those. And eventually she's going to end up mastering water magic as well. But And also ready to master learning. So the first thing that we're going to do, well actually while I'm here, let's go right ahead and master fire. Wrong character. Right character. Then we're going to Town Portal to Silver Cove. And at some point, I will come back to Silver Cove and do this the right way. Um, I'm just grabbing the Mastery and then I'm going to head out. So here is Master Merchant. The only reason why I know is that I looked this up before. You don't have the requirements. But you have personality. Oh, you have personality 25. Hold on. I can fix this, actually. Do you have any item that increases personality? You have a bunch of things that are of doom that increase it too. Personality plus five, this is what I wanted. So you're going to be, so for merchant, you have to have a minimum personality of 30. She only had a personality of 25. She was not so great personably. She's better than a turnip, which is actually what I thought her initial personality was going to be, but not by much. Um, so she's now a master merchant, which is good because I'm going to need the money. And then the other things I wanted to master, I've got body magic and learning. All of them are here in, uh, in, your, in Silver Cove, yeah. Body magic is this one? Yes. Master body. And then let's go master learning three times. Once more, the only reason why I know where these are at is because I just did this. I spent a long time trying to find that merchant. Um, I'm going to go back to the center thing. What time? It is 9.30. Okay. All right, I want to go to, I should decide where I want to go before I do anything. Uh, there's some things I can expert now, like expert axe. Let's see, where is expert axe? Expert axe is in either Castle Iron Fist or hell no, go die in a fire. So that'll have to be when I'm in Iron Fist. Plate I know is in Iron Fist but also mist, so I can go to mist to do that. Chain is in Iron Fist or Bootleg Bay. I've got a beacon for Bootleg Bay at least. Let's go ahead and go back to mist. If I would realize plate was here to begin with, I probably would have just done it then. Your expert spear. Your repair expert, Masters in Castle Stone, okay. Expert staff defense. Uh, 
and none of those are houses and over there was um oh, whatchamacallit uh over there was the okay your expert leather which i do actually need are you expert plate no nope, you're the thieves guild type place you're a burglar Yeah, not that useful. Hmm, where is plate then? Cause it's not in one of the towers. Oh well, I'll deal with plate later. I'm gonna have to go to Iron Fist at some point anyway. Beacon, recall, bootleg bay. I'm assuming plate's not on this crappy section of island because I don't think there's anything on this crappy section of island. You're a bard, you're an apprentice, you're a tavern, right, wrong direction. Luckily, there's nothing left here. No enemies at all. Maybe we'll end up going through and trying to clear out the rest of Bootleg Bay at this point, because I should be able to do that pretty easily now. Go over to the mainland, which is way far south. There's the circus area, which this won't be active until April. You're all lowercase trees. Expert perception, I already have an expert. Oh yeah, where's master perception at anyway? Darkmoor, yep, screw that noise. Um, expert chain, I'm already an expert. I'll be sell buying and selling stuff shortly. Uh, you're a factor, you're a missionary. Where is expert plate? There are no other houses on the map. I probably missed it. Are you both? Yep, you're both a goblin's tooth. Let's go ahead and buy and sell things at this point. You have enchantable stuff, so let's go ahead and enchant that. That's also enchantable. Chain, perception, there's nobody in the back, nobody around. Where in the world is it? All right, what do you have? Paladin Gauntlets of Magic, it's not actually that bad. That's totally enchantable. Cold Beam, I already have. Helm of Vigor is sadly might actually be worth it. That's enchantable. That's it for enchantable. Those are enchanted already. Plus eight spell points might actually be worth picking up. Uh, I think that's actually enchantable, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Take a look at my notes. Chain, steel and above. Okay, no, that's not enchantable. See, I'm actually paying attention this time. That's enchantable. And then you're just two people that sell things. Where in the world is the plate master? I don't think it's in here, is it? You have the quest that's right here. Which I'm going to go do. So 
So I'm going to set my beacon here now. And so basically that section of bootleg bay is useless to me. I have no reason to actually go back ever. Um, let's town portal to New Sorptical. So I can go fill up on magic because I am this desperate for money right now. Oops, I already enchanted that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, that was a bit of a waste. Let's make money. Money making game. See, this is why Master Merchant is so awesome, because I can make money pretty much anywhere. Uh, yeah, amulet, yeah. Okay, amulets, poison resistance plus eight. I think that's actually worse than what I have. Yeah, it's worse than what I have. Crown is spell points plus six. Turns 10, spell points two, luck two, yeah. Definitely better than that. Sell both of these. Do you have anything for sale that's actually enchantable? No. Okay. All right, let's go cast fly because I can, and I'm just going over to here. Notice that I have a different spell cast when I donate now. It's because my reputation is much higher. The spell that was cast is called Hour of Power. It's an extremely nice spell, except for the duration on haste. Um, the duration on haste basically is just because there's no good duration on haste. Uh, how else to say it? Um, basically, haste has a short duration in general. And when haste expires, everybody gets weak. So it's not the greatest in that way, but the powers of our power alone are freaking awesome. So let's go into this Temple of Fist. This is the House of Healing, not the Temple of Fist. This wasn't where I wanted to go, it's further down. Oh well, good enough. This is the Temple of Fist. All right, so we're way better at things now. By the way, that's maximum torchlight. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be basically a pushover for me at this point. Ah, forgot, I need to not get that close to the skulls. Because it drops my might by 10. I mean, rats are not exactly difficult, but there's more than just rats here. Just waiting for the other rat to come through. Yeah, I'm doing 52 damage now to a rat. But, there's monks here. Oh, that's Ice Bolt. And you just got weak. still don't know what in the world is happening with the weakness status. You're not even that scary anymore, to be honest. Found an amulet. Middle of speed plus five, okay. Ah. Let's switch back to Poison Spray. I killed them both. And you can cure your own weakness. There we go. Put the headphone cable someplace that's not going to get tangled up. And let's move on. Um, back here should be far enough away. Telekinesis, which is 
the most overpowered spell in the game if you're trying to run a speed run. Well, that's useful to equip at least, because I don't have very many in... Um, I might as well just cast this. And it failed anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right. Um, I don't have very many belts. Yeah. I still had a character without a belt. Yeah, Her belt's awesome. Everybody else's is kind of terrible. Alright, so we know we have mice. So we have rats and we have monks. This door won't budge. In other words, it's going to take a switch to open. I think the switch is in a different room. So. I need to avoid the skull piles. I always forget about that in this dungeon. You can tell I'm so scared of rats at this point. is empty 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 because it's glitched I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be empty all right continuing on down here I have even more rats yep I remember this area now and here hint as to where you should go pull this flickering turret remember it's the capitalization that matters now you have to run back all the way back if you don't want to go through the skull pile area again. This is what I mean by this dungeon's annoying. And now I believe I can open this door. No? Okay. Sorry, I needed to hit the switch first. Grumble. Grumble, grumble. Grumble. Now I can go back. So the reason why I'm in here is that I need to go destroy an evil crystal that the Temple of the Fist received from Bah. Gonna come down here? I'd rather fight you one at a time. This'll work. Oh, they're just initiates. I'm not too concerned. Initiates and um, novices. far away as I can get, which is not very far, unfortunately. It's okay, it's further at least. Money, 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 money. Letter from the Temple of Ba. It seems that the crystal you have uncovered is not quite what we had anticipated, but we do acknowledge its use. We will send a few clerics to examine this crystal and then decide what to do. Prepare for them in a few weeks. So this is the hint that tells you basically that one, yeah, there's the third type of enemy here is our Ba clerics, and two, they seem to be looking for a crystal of some variety. That will come up later on. We're resistant to sleep. I have one of these already, but I will totally take a second. That's enchantable, I think. Hi. We destroyed the evil crystal! Yay! Should be a lot better healing now. And this is a wand of static. It's static charge, the spell. The air magic spell that I haven't been able to use for a while because it's kind of useless. Okay, there is another master. So the reason why I'm kicking so much posterior is because of all of the spells on me right now. So my damage is a lot higher. So 23 to 27, even though this should be doing, that would be 6 to 10 damage. The reason why is that I have heroism up. Heroism gives a bonus to damage, 
Bless gives a bonus to hit. Shield gives a bonus to AC. Or sorry, shield gives a bonus to... I don't remember now. Which one's AC and which one... Anyway, oh, um, shield does half damage to missile attacks. Um, stone skin's bonus to AC. Hmm, I thought there was another enemy type in here. That was it, I guess. The strength penalty goes away when I sleep, but who's got time for sleep? Not me. All right, so. Training's back here. And quest complete, 3,000 gold, yay. All right. There's only one thing left in all of Bootleg Bay beyond the group of enemies that are back there. Well, I might as well sell stuff. I don't want to hold on to any of this because I'm going to be going into a fairly large dungeon. I'd like to keep junk if possible. Ooh, so this is a interesting random side effect. Enchant item can cause things to become thousands of years old by becoming antique. Uh, I have no explanation as to why this is the case, but antique items are worth 10 times their normal value, or is it five times? No, it'd be 10 times because it was 250 before. So that's worth quite a bit of money as a result. Unfortunately, my merchant's still not that high. I think 10 is enough to mostly buy and sell at cost. And I'm too lazy to town portal back and forth in New Sorbical, so. Now, let's head out. Oh, so. I had Kriya to tell me something, and I wanted to test this. open that. So, 875. 875. Okay, Kriotir's correct. So, I, the official guide had told me that picking up and selling bones was both a penalty to reputation. Kriotir told me, no, it's just picking up, and they're absolutely correct. My apologies. I was pretty sure you are right after you told me anyway, but... Uh, how long do I have left? I have six minutes left on haste. Ugh. Let's try this dungeon again, shall we? I normally prefer to have a little bit more amber on me, but... So. By the way, sacks never have... Um traps on them, which is the reason why I'm opening them up without using telekinesis. This chest, on the other hand, can totally be trapped. Yep. Three, four. So, tried to locate the warded doors. William refused to take any of the amber we found on the way, as he believed it was cursed. After being lost for almost a day, we found a strange creature that teleported us to the entrance. In exchange for the surface, it drained William's life force, but he managed to recover in a few days. We were halting all further expeditions until we were able to determine dots. So, basically, this is a very strange dungeon. This is a 100% optional dungeon. Um, you get the quest from inside of the dungeon, so you can just miss it by never coming here. And there's nothing outside of here that even tells you that there's a quest here, if I want to, I want to say that's correct. Um, this is the Lord of Fire, and this is the Hall of the Fire Lord, so his home. The enemies here are actually fairly easy, with one exception. That's the creature that's mentioned down there. I am the Lord of Fire, an immortal earth spirit. My power is drawn from below the earth. The channels that I use have been blocked by doors warded with powerful magic in the north. 
I need you to unward the doors so I may awaken again. Though the enchantments on them are powerful, Amber will break the ward on the doors. If you get lost in the caverns, you may find assistance from my servants. If you have a piece of amber, they will assume that you are under my care and will teleport you back to me if you talk to them. If you do not have any amber, they will drain some of your life force's payment for teleporting you back up here. Don't worry, they rarely kill anyone. So basically, if you have amber in your inventory, you can teleport back here pretty easily. Um, keep in mind, I have Lloyd's Beacon, so I don't actually have to care either way. Um, and I'm going to set up a beacon in here. Also, if you don't have any amber, just take some hit points. It's not that bad. Also, you need the amber to break open the doors. There's four doors total that you need to open, I want to say. It might be three. So, the whole quest, uh, object of the quest is to open the doors. And this dungeon's fairly large, but there's very little in it. It's mostly a maze. Also, the doors became warded when a strange creature came to reside here. I'm not familiar with this type of being, and I have seen many types in my long time here in Enroth. I do not know why it's chosen this place as its home, or why there's only one, but I would like to see it destroyed for the trouble it has caused me. This creature is a much later on in the game enemy, and it's very powerful. And at least most of them are immune to magic. I don't know if this one is or not. And everybody's weak. Yep. Okay, so 34 to 50. Thirty-four to fifty. It still doesn't seem to do anything. So one of the creature types in here are goblins, which is the reason why I was going to do this earlier. The problem is that I needed Featherfall, so I can actually fall down here. Unfortunately for me, Featherfall is not going to last very long. So I'm probably going to need to repeatedly cast it. So, I'm not exactly concerned about goblins. I'm really not concerned about goblins. Okay. And I totally forgot to actually cast Lloyd's Beacon. I'm just going to cast it here. Set middle. So there's basically two spells that you're going to want to have in here, and that's Jump and Featherfall. Featherfall is still active, so I take no damage from falling. The other type of enemy in here is an ogre. Ogres are a lot stronger. And I'm genuinely frightened of ogres, but I should be okay because ogres are squishy against magic. They're resistant to damage, if I remember right. And, well, goblins. Goblins are not at all scary at this point, even if surrounded. Oh, I lost feather, or I've lost wizard eye because again, I only have four ranks in air. It's only lasting four hours. So this dungeon is a 3D puzzle, effectively. So the overhead map is only going to be of limited use. Peekaboo. See, ogres aren't too bad. But I need to open some doors. These are the... Um, yeah. Those are the creatures that will teleport you for owning some amber. So, not exactly hard to deal with here. Just going to reload the quick save. And I'm going to open some doors. Some of these are correct. Some of them are incorrect. And I never remember which ones are which. 
because I have a very poor memory. I think this is a warded door. So I think this was actually the correct path. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back and go through the incorrect paths because you always have to go through the wrong path. It's the law of an RPG or something, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's this one is the other door. Oh, I have to come through in the other direction. Oh, that's the ward. So, yep, because her amber is now gone. So if I were to teleport now, for an example, she takes a large amount of hit points damage. That's okay, because I shouldn't need to teleport. I've got Lloyd's Beacon. I can also Town Portal out of here to just sleep. I believe it's here. There's no enemies. Okay. And this is another landing. Uh, if I had the jump spell, I can jump up there. I actually don't have the jump spell in this case. This looks suspiciously like a one-way door in the other direction. Okay, so I actually need to head back at this point, which is why. Lloyd's Beacon, Recall, Hall of the Fire Lord. Okay. Let me fall over here. So I have gone to this one and this one. So I'll go to one of these two next. I'll go to this one next. Oh, my feather fall expired and I still didn't take damage. Sweet. So this is a very strange dungeon because there's a lot of areas where there's just nothing. This is just wrapping around, isn't it? Yep. I just went in a giant circle. Good job, me. A plus. This must be above or below. I can fall down here, though. Let's go ahead and fall down. I know I could probably just consult an FAQ, but where's the fun in that? Lots of goblins! Sweet. You know what you do with goblins? You kill them. Wish I had an AoE attack, though. Oh, wait, I do! So, I can arrow the goblins pretty well. Really wish I actually had the haste spell right about now. Okay, the Ogre Chieftain's genuinely dangerous. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't dealing with the Ogre Chieftain. Because those can break everything. If I Was it that they break things every time that they hit? Or nearly every time that they hit? Or was it that the Ogre Chieftain had the ability to drain your spell points to zero? I don't remember which now. Kingdom for Vampiric Weaponry. There we go. Loot all the things. I want to say that there's actually stuff in one of these. But those are all lowercase. 
And we've got another series of doors. And thanks to the lovely power of wizard or of the auto map, you can tell that one of these doors is completely fake. This one right here. Oh wait, it isn't. That one drops down. This one just goes into here. So this is kind of cheesing things a little bit because whenever you re-enter turn-based mode, it re redoes your initiative, which is why I'm able to kind of skip their attack. But they do get to attack first because these soakers are actually fairly fast. But I don't get attacked at nearly as much as I would otherwise. That is a crappy poleaxe. Yeah, the loot in here is generally garbage. Yep, so this was just a room full of ogres. Sweet. That's easily enough done. That was a drop. That's turning over. Is this one a turning over as well? Yeah. I'm going to go to this one first because I think, yeah, that this is stupid jump glitch. I don't remember what that one was. Oh, it's Day of the Gods. Sweet. So all my stats are increased marginally. It's a very weak Day of the Gods, but it's better than nothing. So I'm going to go here. Might as well do this out of range because it's mostly goblins, and I'm not concerned about their weak fire attack. It's Firebolt at level 1. It really does not matter in damage. Or actually, I think the Goblin King might be Firebolt at level 3 or something. Still very little damage. Oops. This is a fun dungeon to me. There's a lot of things here, and I like things. Oops. I always forget about that. Uh, I mean, luckily, once more. Goblins. Not that concerned. Even without haste. Although haste would be really nice right about now. Yep, you're a stone face. Yep, I ain't through her amber. Oh, right, I have firebolt active. Not sparks, no wonder. No wonder it wasn't doing as much damage as I was expecting. Oh, doesn't matter. Firebolt's cheap. This is such a trippy dungeon to me. That's another drop. That's a drop down. That's a treasure chest. I don't think I'm far enough, but this will still reduce damage some. Oh, I am far enough. Nice. Money, money, money. Amber. Featherfall scroll could be useful. Boots that are actually useful. Hinged potion. An empty potion bottle. Um, let's see. Intellect and personality. So one of these. Actually, how about you wear it? Accuracy four, might three. That works. And I think this brings me back up to where I was. Yeah. So I think what I can do is cast jump. That messed up. It's because there's enemies in the way, I think. 
And also I'm facing the wrong way. That does not help anything. There. That's what I wanted to do. Also, we're going to switch you back to Sparks. That's a lot better of a spell for this. You're squishier. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of nasty ogres in here. Dead. Yes, okay, you're actually dead. Good. There we go. Yeah, do you see how hard it is to see that pit? Good job, game designers. That's actually clever. Alright, we're back here. So, this is the door that I opened up with Amber for reference. I believe there's more ogres back here. Or more goblins. Goblins work too. I'm getting loot from the ogres, so that's nice. Am I actually getting anything good? I mean, the clubs are useless. No. No, I'm not. I'm getting garbage. Oh, there's still a couple in there. <laughs> Alright, and that means that we finished that diagonal. Again, if I actually had... Ooh, I just jumped through the terrain. That's normally a dagger fall trick. Let me do that again. Whee! Interesting. That's actually a speedrunning technique for this game, too. This is supposed to be a door. It's a door in the other direction, though. Alright. Now let's go back through the pit where I was. Down here. Because there was ways around here. Is it this one? With the nice handy signs that indicate death. Let's recast Featherfall. I'm almost thinking about running and returning, but. And oh, this is. Yeah. This is the one place in the game where Earth Magic is actually useful. Well, no, not really. Not useless. We'll go with not useless. Oh, I forgot I wasn't even in turn base mode. I hear ochres. Oh, this just loops back around here again. Okay. So I believe I haven't gone through this one yet. Oh, yeah, I did. I haven't gone through the fall nor that corner. I think I may have actually gone through this corner from the other side. Nope. Go around here and see where I end up. Ah, that's over here. Got it. I know where I'm at now. Yeah, let's go ahead and town portal to heal. And might as well sell some garbage, depending on time of day. Nope. Not selling jack squat. It's too late in the day. Of 
recall Hall of the Fire Lord. Okay. Get back over to here. I've already fallen down there, although I still haven't finished everything down there. But I think I want to go here instead. Because I knew I hadn't gone here. At 45 minutes, am I really going to finish Hall of the Fire Lord in one shot? That would be unexpected. I fully expected this to be a two-part video. See how much faster I am with haste? And this is still a slow party. So what haste actually does is it speed and reduces your um, recovery time by a flat amount. That's actually how you can... Oh, I don't have wizard eye up. That explains some things. It reduces your recovery time by a flat amount, which is the reason why I'm able to cast so often right now. I'm just going to melee these because I'm less concerned about them. And you die. And I should actually put up wizard eye so I can see what the hell I'm doing. All right, time to open some door. Oh, how about opening up some treasure chests? So technically all I need for telekinesis is to be able to hit the damn crosshairs. Sometimes that's really hard. Sometimes it's really easy. More amber! That's not even an enchantable. you're actually a door. No, you're the door. It's here. Hi. Uh, I'm probably too close for fireball. Let's not do something that dumb. I already do enough dumb things on my own. I don't need to fireball my own dumbass self. That's enchantable. It is dusk. I heard that something just opened up. Oh, this closed, that's what it is. Also, it's glitching again. I don't know what's up with the glitching. I've never had that happen prior to this game. Uh, oh, this is a fall point. Interesting, okay. Did you add more enemies here? Nope. Just closing itself then. What if there's a fall point here? Brother fall. Another fall point. I'm back in this room. Okay, so I haven't been through either of those two yet. And I remember that there's something down there. But I'm going to go to this one first. Oh, I have been to here. Yep, I know where I'm at. Okay. I don't remember where this autosave was, so I'm being cautious. Nope, okay. This is where I wanted it to be. All right, there's something weird about this spot. Like, I need to make sure I'm balanced exactly correct or something to get the stuff. This is the creature that I'm referring to. It is hella nasty. That was not useful at all. That, um, oh, it's not immune to magic? Ooh, 
So this must be an alternate version of it. So these are normally completely immune to magic. All types of magic. Not just the magic element, because this game is dumb. Also, they use an energy attack, which is why they're so nasty, because there's nothing in the game that resists energy. Not on you, not on your opponents. Yep, you actually take full damage. Nice. Oh, I actually do have haste. That's good to know. Didn't even notice. Um, trap metal works. 1077 gold and a key. Okay, so I seem to... Oh. Damn it, that's not what I wanted you to do. Not at all. Okay. Where's the drop point? Did you open that up? No, you did not. Uh, okay, I think if I loop around here, I end up going back to the big room where I can fall down again. Yes. Let's move double time. And back down here again. Save game. Move down here, save again, and you teleport me over here, okay. So I actually want to go here. Regular ordinary chainmail. Warrior sword, not enchantable, but a decent amount of money, always helpful. Oops, damn it. Luckily, I have, I'm gonna eat some damage from this telekinesis. Oops. And telekinesis again to loot the next to nothing. Okay. So there's still something left around here and I need to find what? I'm not seeing any signs of things going into green anywhere, so that's not helping. Haven't I already been here? Yes, I have. And haste expired. I should have paid more attention to that. It's probably one of the things in the beginning. So let's go ahead and beacon back here. Yeah, you're just completely drained of everything. Um, I have not been down this path yet. No, I have not. Fireball. <laughs> I'm being lazy. Hi. Maybe weakness delays reaction times? I mean, unfortunately, I just came off of haste, so I'm not necessarily going to recognize the delay in reaction times. Yes, boo? Are you serious? Just die already, please. Thank you. Gauntlets. Sell. Not sell. Boopy, what are you doing? Okay. Well, I haven't been here yet. Might as well continue. Uh, you have two MP. You can cure weakness yourself and cure weakness the knight. I'm thinking it might be recovery time increased for weakness. Hi. There we go. 
go. Regular door. I think this just connects back. Or not. I can still go back, so I'm not going to fall down any holes at the moment. Okay, this is the middle path. Still in yellow. So there's still enemies somewhere. Like, this is a really big dungeon. I've mentioned this before. That's a hole. Just curious to see where this hole puts me. This hole puts me along a path I've been to before. Yes, it does. Okay. This is why I save. Oh, I'm in green. Okay. So that means that there's probably nothing more enemy-wise on this side. Let's go back over here. And let's start firing open some of these. I'm not even going to bother with the damn poppy snaps. I'm just fighter trap disarming at this point. Well, this is enchantable at least. Boo Kitty's being silly again. Just drink that. What are you doing, cat? She's trying to snuggle up with my jacket. That's adorable. Not exactly what I was looking for. Alright. I'm pretty sure... I, oh! My torch light finally expired. That lasts for 12 hours. I've been here for a while. Let's go down here. I'm pretty sure I've been here before. If I have, it doesn't matter. It just brings me back here. Okay. What am I missing? Yeah, just look at how complicated looking this map is. It's a little ridiculous. Oh, okay. Just seeing what the email was. Um, I have not been to this side yet. That might even be what I need. I thought you also had something of regenerate MP, I thought. You had to regenerate HP, okay. Welp. Okay. Go this way. That's right, this is a dead end. Hi. <sighs> and this was Day of the Gods, which I might as well have recast on me. Hold on a moment. Ooh, kitty. That sounds like you're numbing on something. On something you shouldn't be numbing on. Hmm. I don't know, Boof. I don't know what you're numbing on. Oh, I know what you're doing. You smell that there's food in this, don't you? Sorry about that, Boo Kitty was starting to figure out that there was a box of cat food in the room. And that can't be allowed. Also, do I have my microphone gain really high? My apologies if I do, I'll listen to this recording later. Okay. What the heck? 
Where am I missing things? I can hear goblins over here. Try going down here again. there's anything here. This just takes me back here again. Which loops me back up to here. Sometimes I wish Wizard Eye was longer range. I tried to jump over that and failed. I know that there's something else here. You know what? Just beacon back up. It's this side. Is the, the side I haven't gone on. Also... The amulet, no, it's the gauntlets. Let's swap gauntlets temporarily. Because I would like to ever actually get healed. There. Let's get a little bit further out of the danger zone at least. That removes that barring, which goes all the way around here. And I'm in green. What the heck? This isn't what I was looking for at all. That wasn't an amber door. This is the part that I always dislike in the Hall of the Fire Lord. It's trying to find this last room. Okay, um, I might be able to use YouTube editing to cut part of this out. If so, you will see a cut right about here. here again see if I can find anything just trying to open a door I think there's one left No, there's enemies left, and I still haven't opened the chest with, um, whatchamacallit, the boss monster stuff in it. I've been this way. This actually just leads to where I just came from, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, not there. So... This one I've been to before, yes. This leads over here. Which this path leads all the way across. There's enemies around at least. And that's a fall point, okay. And then this path is where I came from, and oops. 
This one's the connection up, isn't it? Yeah. Have I finished everything over here? Yeah, I have. I really don't have a jump spell. I'm tired of seeing their derpy faces. Although I'm just going to Go back to the front. Ah, so I did all of that. I actually finished it, oddly enough. I was, there's still monsters here, but I finished the dungeon quest wise, at least. So that's good. I'm just going to double check some things. Feather fall. Aha! You're the ones I haven't killed yet. That's what I was looking for. I've been at this long enough for my wizard eye expired again. Ring of Fire would have been really handy right about there. And now I'm in condition green, and I bet I'm actually permanently in condition green at this point. Ah, screw it. I have a key. And I have a crystal skull. This crystal skull will be very useful later. And that's it. That is the entire dungeon. I finished the Hall of the Mountain King at way lower of a level than I'm supposed to. Um, usually you're in your 50s when you come over here, I think. 30s to 50s. I guess it's not that much lower. I'm in my 20s now. Anyway, you are GTFing the O out. Oh, out, really me? Whatever. Doesn't matter, go heal. Also, cure that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Um, hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recording. I'm gonna just make another one immediately, most likely. Let's go ahead and save. And I will talk to you next time. Goodbye, Internet.